Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a very, very cool rogue deck. It's called Mathmec. Uh, you all will probably notice from the boss monster Final Sigma that will do double damage. It's a tower and will kill your opponent when it attacks. The deck is very, very cool. Uh, but first I have to give proper shout outs because this is not my deck list. This deck list is from a friend of mine, Gabio. He has been playing this deck for a very, very long while. He has also provided me a combo video, which we will show later in the video. And he also played the deck at the 3v3 tournament that we are having online currently, uh, which I will also feature with some additional commentary to talk you guys through the deck. Uh, Gabio is a very, very skilled player. Uh, he's never playing a meta deck, but he's always playing his rogue deck, innovating and yeah, this deck list is probably one of the best math mech lists out there, which is why I wanted to share it with you guys, because honestly, I really like this deck. It's really, really cool. It's actually kind of versatile. That surprised me very much. It has a very good combo potential, but it has the best OTK potential with the final Sigma. So yeah, I'm going to talk to you about the deck list. I'm going to explain some of the cards for you guys. And after that, we're going to watch the combo video together. And then we're going to watch the replay as well, so that you guys know uh, how the deck really works. So yeah, let's go straight into the deck profile. Uh, so there will be two cards missing from the extra deck. I will have pictures on the screen, so you will know exactly what I'm talking about, and I will explain them as well. So no worries there. So for starting, we're going to start off with Triple Mathmec Sigma. One of the extenders of the deck. Let's focus in on that card real quick. Mathmec Sigma is a really, really cool card. If you control no monster in the extra monster zone, which is the theme of this deck, while this card it's in your hand or graveyard. You can special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Cyber's monster. Also, a common theme for this deck. You can only use this effect of Sigma once per turn. If this card you control sent to the synchro to the graveyard as the material of a synchro, you can treat it as a non tuber So, also another common theme. Um, all the math mechs, uh, if you synchro summon with them for the synchro summon of a math mech card, they can all either be or not be a tuner. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, so you'll play Triple Sigma because he extends and he is very generic with his extending. Uh, he locks you into the uh, Cybers, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, the newest card released is Mothmec Di Di Diameter, which we are playing triple times. Uh, all these cards' names are like puns uh, with Moth. Uh, I'm not sure what Sigma is, but all the others are subtraction, addition, stuff like that. So let's go straight into the effects. This card is really good. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 4 Cyber's monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but it cannot activate its effects. That's fine, because we will not be using that effect anyway. A Moth Mech monster that was Synchro or XYZ summoned using this card on the field as a material against the following effect. Once per turn during the turn, this card was special summoned. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, negate that effect. Which is really, really cool, because one of the, you know, you make the boss monster, um, which is a towers, and he does double damage, but he can also negate if you use him with diameter. Uh, but also you can use the XYZ summon, and then it can negate either a hand trap or something else, which is also really, really cool. And it helps you set up interrupts in your opponent's turn by synchro or XYZ summoning in your opponent's turn. Then we have Nabla, another uh, moth pun, but I don't know where. If you know all the moth puns, be sure to let me know. Uh, you contribute one Cyberus monster, special summon one Mothmech monster from your deck. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Cyberus monster you control in the extra monster zone. It can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. This is another theme that comes up with all the Mothmechs. If you use them for the synchro summon, they all can target a monster in the extra deck and use a certain effect. Of course, uh, these two uh, haven't really had... Oh, th this one actually had that, but Sigma didn't have that. These are the most important Mothmech cards in the deck. Setting up your place. We have double time addition. Uh, addition is uh, one of two. You have addition and subtraction. Uh, you can target one phase of monster on the field. You can special summon. Uh, you cannot special summon monster from the extra deck for those turn. It's like cyberus monsters. Also special summon this card from your hand, but it cannot attack this turn. And if you do, the target monster gains thousand attack because it's an addition until the end of the turn. Another extender for the Mothmech archetype, uh, locking you into cyberus, which is fine. Then we have subtraction. The entire same effect, except he reduces a monster on the field with 1000 attack. This doesn't have to target your own monster, uh, which can definitely come up as well. So to uh, quote-unquote generic moth mech extenders. Then we're gonna have two one-off moth mechs. We have Division. Uh, you can tribute one Cyberus monster you control in the extra monster zone. Special summon up to one level 4 Cyberus monster from each your hand or in graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster on the field, its attacks becomes half until the end of this turn. 
uh, dividing the attack by half. Um, this card is really, really cool. It's a one-off because all the other cards are just better starters. Uh, this card really has a lot of utility as well because you can tribute your monster in your extra monster zone that is kind of locking you up and then you can extend further. Then we have Multiplication. This card is really cool. Target one level four Cerberus monster you control. Its level becomes eight until the end of this turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Cerberus monster you control and extra monster shown. Its attack becomes double until the end of this turn. Uh, yep, double. Uh, this makes Sigma six six thousand attack, and he still does double damage. Um, combining that with division, he can attack twice over monsters, which will almost instantly kill your opponent. And this is a really easy way to make Sigma, but definitely not the only way. So those are all the Mothmac monsters we are playing. And we are playing nine other monsters. One of the most important cards in the deck is definitely Parallel Exceed. Um, of course, you can special summon this card to a Zona Link monster points to when you Link summon, and then he summons another copy from the deck, making it level four. This really enables your XYZ plays, but it also helps with synchro summoning and comboing off, which we will show later in the video. We have Triple Balancer Lord, another really cool quote-unquote extender. Once per turn, you can pay 1,000 life points. During your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one Subverse monster in addition to your normal summon set. Uh, this monster doesn't have to be on the field for that effect to resolve, so you can just pay a thousand and normal summon later. And when this card is banished, you can special summon one level forward over monster from your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. This is really a cool card. This is the reason why we play one gold sarcophagus as well, because it extends when you banish it, but it also just uh, lets you summon an additional time. We have triple ash blossom, uh, which is one of the two hand traps that we play in the deck, being the most generic hand trap at the time. We have triple Signet Mining, of course, all these monsters are cyber, so Signet Mining makes sense. Also, you have some really good discarding synergy in this deck. Play one Gold Sarcophagus to banish the Balancer Lord. We play one Foolish Burial because you can send Sigma or anything else for a diameter. One Mothmech Equation. This is the Mothmech Monster Reborn, uh, which can come up. We have one Monster Reborn for another extender. Then, for some quote-unquote consistency. Uh, this ratio might be weird, but I will explain it. We have double duality, or double desires. And then we have triple avarice. The reason why we play triple avarice is because this deck, first of all, it burns through its resources with parallel exceed and the entire extra deck that you will use for your combo. Uh, filling your grave really, really quick, and then you can just recycle your grave and draw two cards. It's really easy for this deck to get five monsters in the graveyard. Um, you don't really want to use Desire Tree because all these cards have like a reason to be played, uh, which is why Desires is currently at two. Uh, I myself, I'm really, really big fan of two Desires uh, because two Desires is always correct, uh, which is why we play uh, three Everest and two Desires. Another hand trap is Triple Infinite Impermanence, uh, being versatile as well. And the last card is Mothmac Super Factorial, 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 Factual, Super Factorial. This card is really, really cool. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. Target up to three Mothmac monsters in your graveyard with different names. Then activate one of these effects. Special summon them, but their effects are negated. Then, immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one Mothmac monster using only those monsters. Special summon them, but their effects are negated. Immediately after this effect resolves, XVC summon one Mothmac monster using only those monsters. So, Either you go second, either you go second and you OTK, or you go first and you lay down the trap so that you can make one of your powerful XRC monsters. Now, let's sort these out real quick. Onto the extra deck. The first card is Link Cross, helping you to combo, and of course it's a Cyberus monster. This card comes up in the combo, which is really, really cool. One Link Rewo. Uh, this card actually helps you play through Impermanence. Uh, it's one of the most accessible uh, Link monsters in this deck because it's only it only needs a level 4 or the worst monster. Uh, it helps you for protecting. It helps you for your combo. One Link Disciple. You contribute one monster, discard points to draw one card, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. This helps with cycling out your Parallel Exceed or anything you don't want in your hand. The first card that I don't have, this is Link Devotee, and I'm gonna read the effect to you. If this card is special summoned, for the rest of this turn, you cannot Link Summon Link 3 or higher Link Monsters. Which is fine, because we are barely playing those and we're gonna Synchro anyway. If this card, co-linked card is tributed, you can special summon two Link Tokens. Severus, Light, level 1, attack 0, defense 0. You can only use this effect once per turn. So you summon your Link Disciple, then you summon the Devotee under that. You tribute the Devotee to draw a card. And then you summon two tokens and combo. 
IP Mascarina, this really combos well with the trap, of course, you can exceed your opponent's turn, then with the IP you can also make a, what's it called, a Nightmare Unicorn, which we also play. Cyber's Wicked, this Link Summon card cannot be destroyed by battle card effects. Cyber's Monsters, this card points to, cannot be destroyed by card effects, which is also really cool. If a monster special summoned to a zone, this card points to, while you control this monster, except during the damage step, banish one Cyber's Monster from your graveyard, at one Cyber's Tuner from your deck to your end. Uh, all, almost all of the Mathmax are Cyber Tuners, which comes up, so you can continue to extend. And we're Unicorn for the AP play. Uh, this card is going to need some explanation as well. This is Link, oh, Goat, Talk, or Invert. If this card is Link Summoned, you can Special Summon one Cyber Monster from your hands to a zone. This card points to. You can only use this effect once per turn. Uh, he points to the side, but of course that's no problem, because the Link Disciples will point downwards anyway. Uh, this helps you extend it as well. Uh, one Apollosa in case it comes up. Now let's go talk about some Prime Moth Max. Uh, Prime Moth Max Albertarian is a card you probably know because of its ridiculous effect. You can tribute one monster, special summon one level 4 Moth Max monster from your hand to graveyard, which is comes up. If this card is XRC summons, you can detach 2 to 4 materials from this card. Activate the appropriate effects. 2 at 1 Moth Max card from your deck to your hand. 3 at 1 level 4 monster from your deck to your hand. 4 at 1 spell trap card from your deck to your hand. That's Pretty insane, you can only use this effect once per turn. So this card can search out any spell card or trap card in the game, which is honestly insane, but most important for this deck, it searches out the Moth Mag card, uh, which you play two of for consistency reasons. We play one Moth Mag Laplacian, the Trishula of the deck. This card is really, really cool. Uh, three monsters. If a Moth Mag card you control would be destroyed by a battle card effect, you can detach one card, one material from this card instead. If this card is actually summoned, you can detach up to three materials from it, then choose that many effects. You cannot use the same effect twice. One, send monster or send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard, or send a spell trap card your opponent controls to the graveyard. So combining this with the trap card, you can special summon three monsters from your opponent's turn, uh, hand loop them for one, send one spell or trap, send one monster, and if you made them with diameter, you can also have on the gate, which is really really cool. Uh, one dweller being the generic XYZ of the deck. One Savage, because we will be Synchro Summoning into Savage. And one Geo Math Mech Final Sigma. I'm going to read this card to you. Look at how cool this card looks. Unaffected by card effects, except Math Mech cards. Bound extra monster zone if this card... Or unaffected by card effects, except Math Mech. Well, it's in the extra monster zone. If this card... In the extra monster zone battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is doubled. Yep, double. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Mothmag card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. The boss monster of the Mothmag, you go second, you OTK, which is really, really cool. Like, this card can hit for, like, a lot of damage, which is really, really insane. Uh, one of the very cool things you can do, because you can definitely make that XYZ that you can spurge any spell or trap in your deck, uh, which is why in the side deck we're going to play a lot of one-off floodgates. Uh, first off is Salt Rain. Then we have Red Reboot. Uh, this is not a floodgate, but it's a one-off. One Imperial Order and one Macrocosmos. All these cards can be searched out with the XYZ, which is why we play them at one, which is really, really funny. Uh, one Harpy's Feather Duster. We play Triple Lightning Storm for the back row matchup. And then we play some more Hand Traps. That's it. So, as you see, we are siding the hand traps, we are not maining them. Um, I don't think the point of this deck is to be the most meta-relevant deck out there. Um, this deck definitely has its place good turn 1, it definitely has its place turn 2. Uh, will this deck ever be able to consistently like beat Dragon Link? Um, at this point, no. Uh, the game is in a really interesting state right now, um, where the meta is just really, really strong and it's really difficult for decks like this to succeed. This is definitely one of the best builds. It definitely can compete in the meta. Um, it's not the best deck. Although, one thing I do have to say, it's a lot of fun to play this deck. The art is beautiful. The playstyle is really, really fun. Uh, definitely utilizing the Cyber cards uh, that are out there right now. Um, of course, we have a replay coming up and we have the combo explanation also coming up. Definitely stay tuned for that so that you know the power of this deck and that you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, this deck is a lot of fun. Um, this is definitely one of the most correct ways to play the deck out there. My opinion, quote unquote. So yeah, let's go watch some combo videos. Yo, what's up guys? We are back with the replay of the combo video of the Mad Mac deck. Uh, Gabio has put us uh, a very, very good full combo. So we're gonna 
quickly jump into that. Summoning the Balancer Lord, paying 1000 life points, having a normal summon during his turn. Summoning a Link Disciple, Barlow Exceed. He's summoning Barlow Exceed, making Link Devotee, well, one of the most important pieces of the combo. Disciple will tribute Link Devotee, Link Devotee will summon two tokens. Cyber's Wickets come up, one of the tokens is used for Link Rebo, and the other one for the summon of Cyber's Wicked Kid. Uh, Link Rebo, our uh, Wicked Kid will banish the Balancer Lord. Um, so you search one, and then Balancer Lord can just summon one from hand already. Summoning the Nabla. Wicked Kid will go into Link Cross, two more tokens, uh, which will be used for the tributes of the Mothbex. Nabla summons Division from the deck. It overlays to Albertarian, adding the Diameter from the hand. Albertarian will summon back Division by tributing a token. Division will tribute Link Cross to summon Diameter. Then you can throw away for Borrow Lord Savage, because we are not locked into Cerberus just yet. None of those effects are activated. Then the IP, you set the trap card. So for the next turn, you have your Borrow Sword as in the gate, Link Rebo for the permanence. You have IP Masquerina um, to make a unicorn or whatever. And you also have the trap card that will summon back three and basically trash your opponent and it's also in the gate. So that's honestly pretty insane. So let's take a look at what this deck does in the Swiss duel. Yo, what's up guys? We are back with the replay of the tournament. This is the trivia tree that is featured on the B Dutch and Belgium Facebook page. We stream this trivia tree every Monday and every Thursday on twitch.tv slash sum underscore highest. Uh, I am also the full commentary. Uh, this was the round that the judge team played versus the team of Joshua Osters. And miraculously, <laughs> Mothmec was in the first round versus Burble. And this replay shows everything I wanted to show you guys. It shows going first, going second, the struggles of the deck. So let's jump into it. The player on the top is Gabio, the provider of the deck list. So we will be watching him very close. Now already this is going to be an issue. Um, he lost the die roll. Uh, there are no hand traps in the hand of Gabio. And although Richie's hand is not that good, he can still make a lot of Vibrex due to heavy, inter heavy infantry. So we're going to see some pretty cool shenanigans that I'm going to fast forward right there. Because we are here for the best deck and not the uh, second best deck. Summoning Marcher, summoning Minstrel, building for cost. You know, all very, very basic stuff. It's gonna go into the Aurora Dawn place. Trishida being hit on the field, which will be the first hand loop. Something interesting that's coming up is gonna make the Prima Donna, adding back multiplication to the hand of the opponent, make a special summon Prince, which is like a negative hand loop, I guess. Yeah, looking again at the hand, hand loop another card. Gets shuffled back into the deck by Prima Donna again, permanently removing it. Omega being summoned, Trishana being summoned, VFD being hit on the field. And that's going to be a really tough time for the Mathmech player here because VFD is honestly just, just too strong. Um, so Gabio is going to struggle out for a little bit here. Uh, but what he's basically going to do is, uh, first of all, misclick, <laughs> then he's going to set a card and pass. Uh, and Fortunate for Richie, he cannot quite close the game here already. So he's just going to continue playing. Picking up the Ash really isn't that good for Gabio either. He will Ash the one for one though. And now we're going to go quickly to the battle phase. Uh, no extenders were drawn from Richie's part here, sadly. For him, of course. Omega will end up another card. It'll be there for us again. And yeah, PFD is still on the field. So this is just going to be a really tough time for Gabio to play through the deck. Sanded Mining will hit the field, which does nothing because it's faced with a flash. Omega returns, and that is just game on board. Yes. So game two, um, after siding, uh, Gabio put in some very cool spicy deck cards that are also featured in the deck list. And he has the balance reward, he has the desires. All he needs to do is draw a parallel exceed. And that's exactly what he does. So we're gonna go off into the combo. There are no hand traps from Richie's side, so Kabi is just gonna go off with exactly what we have just shown. So I will fast forward this quickly. 
big DVT, some Link 2 tokens, of course. One token Wicked Kid, another token Lingerudo, adding the Nabla, Balance Rudor being banished, summoning the Nabla. Big Cross on the field, two tokens, Tribute one token, summon the XYZ, add a card, Tribute one more token, making the Savage, making the IP, setting the trap, and passing the turn on quite the impressive end board right there. So, honestly, what is the deck really going to do? At this point, Gabio has a Trishula life, he has IP, he has Savage. So yeah, let's quickly see what uh, Richie will do. He will activate Minstrel, which will be met with a Soul Train. Very cool. <laughs> Genix and then summoned, and then we will scoop the game up. After going into battle phase, activating the Trap card. Yes. So now we're going to see the very powerful going second place of the deck. Uh, Tifo being summoned, being met with an Ash, and that's a pass turn for Richie. His hands were quite unfortunate. Uh, but Gabio is going to pop off here with the Linked Disciples and the Paramedic Seed. We're not going to see the same combo here, so I'm just going to quickly walk you guys through this. Paramedic Seed being summoned on the field, linking it away for Tifo T. That card is really, really good. It's really interesting to see all the very broken, generic Link cards or uh, Cyberus cards finally coming together. Go token invert is hit on the field, so link the vision, adding back the Nabla from the deck, making the link cross, more tokens. Addition will be summoned, summoning the Diva. We are locked into Cybers, but that doesn't matter, we're gonna make our XYZ. Adding back the diameter from the deck. Tributing one, summoning division, division, tributing in the extra monster zone. Nabla being summoned, Nabla tributing a monster. So the multiplication uh, that basically enables Gavio to uh, what what does it do? It can now oh yeah, the final sigma now has double damage from its own. And the attack is doubled by the I believe it's multiplication, yeah. And when the fission is being used, the diva will also lose even more attack. So yeah, he's gonna sink for these away for the final signal, which is at 6k right now, double damage, unaffected by card effects, battle phase, attack over diva. that's just game. That's just how easy it is. So yeah, again, thank you Gabio for these amazing replays, these combo videos, everything. Um, I really love this deck and I really hope that we gave it a good enough spotlight. Thank you guys for watching, if you like this deck, be sure to leave a comment down below with your favorite math joke, and we will see you soon. Bye guys!